Good afternoon, Chris. Colin Kimball here with Alderman Chevy, Buick GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. We appreciate your inquiry on this beautiful truck. Very excited to get you this thing today. Very special vehicle we have on our hands. Now, this is our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LT Trail Boss. That comes with some very, very cool things here. This does have that Z71 off-road package. Um, but right off the bat, over $2,500 in savings available on this truck. Uh, as well as our 2.9% APR for 72 months for well-qualified buyers uh, when financed with GM Financial, so a very good deal on financing as well. This is listed at $500 over invoice pricing, so a very good deal on a new truck. Uh, but this one here, 5.3 liter V8 engine married to a 10-speed automatic transmission. With that combination, you're going to get about 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. Um, that's a very good amount of torque and a very smooth delivery with that 10 speed. This does come with that dynamic fuel management and that variable valve timing that's going to allow you to turn off some cylinders while you're driving to give you the best fuel mileage. This one does have that eat in uh, differential lock. It does have that lock sense. We will go over that in a few minutes. Um, but on the outside here, we have our high gloss black painted mirror caps, the Z71 hard badge. And then as you can notice here, this does come on a factory two inch lift. Now it does also have that uh, Rancho monotube shocks. It gives you better clearance on both sides. We will show you those in just a minute. Right off the bat here, we have our beautiful Goodyear Wrangler tires. Now these are our mud terrain tires. Then we have our 17 inch high gloss black wheels. 16, sorry about that. 16 inch high gloss black wheels. Those Goodyear Wrangler tires on there. Around to this front fascia, we have our beautiful daytime running LED lights. Now we do have remote start. I do want to give you a um, little start here. Now on this key here, the press of that times two button with a little circle arrow going around it, that's going to go ahead and get it started. Nice little animation on there. Two more times is going to stop it. you saw right in the middle there that's your daytime running LED part and then your LED headlamps tucked right away in there uh, now that is kind of just a signature Silverado look but this red and then the combination of that uh, high gloss black um, and then the LED light is just a really really luxurious and sporty look now on the front here this is a high gloss black grill black bow tie Z71 badge tucked away in there and right down here is a high gloss black bumper with some red recovery tow hooks those are frame mounted um, now these are all protected that's your fog lights it's protected behind uh, your bumper there and right down here with the z71 off-road protection package you do have your aluminum skid plates for those uh, scenarios where you need it uh, but a very cool feature will protect your oil pan in, uh, in those scenarios on the hood here this is a two-tone very very beautiful radiant red color but you also have this high gloss black uh, hood cap um, now this radiant red hides the dirt very very well if we get up close here you can see it's kind of dirty we did just give it a little hose off but it is uh still very dusty on there but if we take a good step back this beautiful red color just kind of hides it all now, this is probably my favorite color here on this new silverado um, just really accents that high gloss black very very well We do have a passive key entry system in these front two doors. With just a press of a button, you can lock and unlock the vehicle as long as you got the key in, uh, in or around the vehicle. Uh, then we have this beautiful, beautiful interior here. We will show you all of those features, but first I wanna give you a good feel for room in the back. Um, now this is the crew cab. You do have a ton of room back here. As you notice, we have our all weather floor liners. Now that is different from a floor mat. Uh, as you see, these kind of hug the wall. It goes up and over. Uh, down and below the seat, but then it comes up and over right here and latches together. Um, no space for that salt or grime or snow or dirt, whatever it may be to sneak in between there. Uh, now I'm about six foot three, definitely on the taller side, and I have more than enough room here to kind of kick my legs out. I can sit back, be comfortable. I'm slouching right now. Definitely have enough room, not limited whatsoever. Kangaroo pockets in both seats, not something they put in every truck. And right down here, we have our Type-C charger for fast charging, as well as our USB port for some more charging. Uh, we do have our HVAC vents back here. Uh, make sure everyone's happy with the temperature. And you do have some side-by-side -side cup holders as well. Turn this back around. Um, beautiful little interior here. Let's just come with the sunroof. 
And then these seats are 60-40, splitting bench seats. Now this is a 60 part right here. It just lifts right up. As you can see, you just still have a ton of storage here. You could load that right up there and still not lose all your seating configurations. Um, but you could also still have your two seats right here and still store a ton over there. Um, great amount of space in this truck. High gloss black door handles as well. We have our eight-way power driver seat adjustments, our six-speaker Bose premium sound system. We're going to hop right in here. Nice little Trail Boss uh, welcome animation there. Let's start this up here for a second. And right off the bat, that's a 12.3-inch driver infotainment screen, 13.4 inches of radio entertainment screen. And I'll just turn that off because we are inside. Uh, we'll turn the ignition on here. Now, this is a leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. You turn that on with that button right there. Beautiful stitching on here, black bow tie, and then your hands-free audio and phone call settings on the right side. Good for your music, phone calls, that kind of stuff. Uh, but then you have your uh, adaptive cruise control settings on the left side. That'll set the uh, gap between you and the car in front of you, and it'll keep it there. Right on this side is your cargo lamps, your uh, headlight controls, your fog light controls, and then your brightness for your uh, console here. On the left side, you have your um, engine controls. Now, that does work with your auto track transfer case. Um, your eat in locking differential. It's going to sense a difference in speed between your wheels, and it'll lock up uh, what it feels it needs to. And then you have your four high, four low, two high. Then your trailering mode, that's going to reduce the gear shifting on those long car rides. When it knows there's a trailer behind you, it won't shift up and down as many times. Reduce the wear and tear on there. Then your push to stop uh, or uh, um, your push button parking brake. Here's your electronic mirror and window adjustments. Beautiful wood grain accent on this door. Right around here, 13.4 inches, corner to corner, radio entertainment screen here. We'll leave it in demo mode for now, but very cool features in here. Wireless, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You do have your Google Assistant, and for the first time ever, you can control your in-vehicle controls. Um, so not just your climate, but your uh, volume as well. You have a rear HD camera. We'll go ahead and show you that. You can almost take a video right through there. Very, very good quality. You do have a trailering app right there that's going to cycle some lights for you before you hit the road. Kind of eliminates the need to have another person. Um, you do have your My Chevrolet app capability and a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot capability. Now with the My Chevrolet app, you can remote start, uh, remote start, lock, and unlock anywhere in the country. You don't need to be near your vehicle. Very, very cool feature. Then right here on this little task bar, we have our uh, lane keep assist with lane departure warning. That's going to do those little minor adjustments for you, keep you in between the white lines, and it will beep at you if it senses you're leaving. Here's your auto stop and start button, your power lift gate. We're going to go ahead and press that just so we can drop it back there. Um, we have our traction control button and then our hill descent control. Um, now that's kind of like a cruise control for going down a steep hill. You'll press that and you'll use these little buttons right here. Right here's your dual zone climate control. Now you each get your own temperature, fan speed right in the middle, and then your uh, two heated seat settings. So now you have your back and bottom, uh, three different temperature settings for that. Then you have your back only option. You can still use that during the summer if you got some back pain. Push the start engine button and then an integrated trailer brake right here. Then you get your gain adjustments right there and then a little brake right there. Nice little uh, shifter in the center console here. Uh, cup holders right there and a nice little storage spot right there with a little rubber mat can remove if you want to clean it a beautiful leather wrap center console right here a little wireless charging pad you can kind of throw your phone in there uh, it'll get the charge in type c and a usb and then a 120 volt wall outlet charger this is also some surface level storage you take it out you have a good amount of storage down here and it is lit up with a little led light and there's that sunroof now this is a little manual shade here. You do have to close that with your hand, uh, but it does go ahead and open right up. Um, very cool feature. Not something they put in every truck either. Now you do have your garage door opener, one, two, and three settings. Then you also have your automatic sliding rear window. Very cool, beautiful interior in here. Probably one of my favorites. 
We do have capless fuel fill here. No need to get your hands dirty at the gas station. You don't have the cap swinging around, scratching up this beautiful red paint. Keep it just the way it is. This is the five and a half foot bed right there. We'll give you a good look at these Rancho Mama tube shocks. We'll give you a better view from the back. And we do have our corner step rear bumpers right here. That is a high gloss black painted rear bumper. Nice little trail, uh, trail boss emblem on there. And as you can see, we did turn on our cargo lamp button. Great for unloading and loading in the dark. Dual tip chrome rear outlets. Now with just a little bit of help, this thing will go ahead and drop right down. Now this bed is insanely light, very, very light. You can pick it up with one hand. Um, it does have hydraulics to stop it from slamming down. Then we have a Chevy Tech Spray on bed liner. Now this is very, very cool. Keep everything protected in the back there. You have 12 cargo tie down locations on each side, uh, or sorry, six on each side, 12 total. They'll hold up to 500 pounds each. Um, so plenty of combinations to keep everything tied down. You won't have to worry about something sliding around in here. Cargo lamps right there. We do have a 120 volt wall outlet charger right there. Um, little rubber ring in there to keep it waterproof. Beautiful embossed Chevrolet logo on the back. We'll give you a good view at that uh, Rancho Mono Tube Shocks. As you can see it right in there. Now with this Z71 off-road package, you get that two inch lift. Uh, you have your two inch by two inch hitch receiver right there. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful truck all around. Comes loaded with uh, features. Um, I mean, now from that Rancho Monotube shocks all the way to uh, your um, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, this thing's just engineered to be a very, very fuel efficient and off-road capable ride. Uh, now, if you have any more questions about this beautiful vehicle, don't hesitate to give me a call, 802-855-3547. And Chris, you can stop by for a test drive, 65 Windcrest Road in Rutland, Vermont. You have a great day, sir.